confident, courageous. Anywhere. Uh -huh. You have to sit down and, and ask. How questions. far would you be able to go if you have to lose uh, that source of income that you have to show up uh, to get paid, you know? That is the level that you are working towards. So maybe let's say you lose, the, if let's say next month they don't pay you, uh, or you lose your job. How many years, how many months can you stay without you getting anything? And if you have worked for 10 years or so, I think that you should be able to put your money, the, the little money that you save out of that, into another thing that will be able to give you money, whether you can show up uh, uh, so that you don't go to work anyway, so, but you still have some money coming. So you are, you are structuring your life, you're, you're, you're designing your life uh, towards that. So when others are, when, when, sometimes when people start to get work, you know, they, they, the money that comes, the way they spend the money shows whether they are going to have financial freedom or they are going to be, uh, you know, a lot of people will, like, will dress nice, wear nice clothes, you know, drive nice cars, you know, even have nice houses, but the moment they lose the job, uh, everything will start to go somewhere. You know, they run everything on debt, they run everything on credit, they, you know, <laughs> things like that. You're supposed to use those tools uh, to, to structure your finances, said so that if you lose that job, that job is good, the job is okay. I'm never, never not against job, but uh, you, the income that is coming, you use that to build a lifestyle that when you don't have to work again, you'll be able to sustain your life for a very uh, long time. And that will require you to sacrifice a lot. That will require you to be very inconvenient. When others are watching football, you're planning, you're structuring, you're designing something, you're, you're, you're starting a, a, another source of income, you know, you're using the internet, you're building another business somewhere. You're always working uh, to get to a stage that even if you lose that business, if that business goes down, you still have some things invested that will bring money to take care of yourself and you take care of your money. Work towards this. It's something that is so critical. Your family, your health, your peace largely depend on these things never let anybody take that from you if you don't have money if you have not worked with money if you have not planted the money <laughs> a lot of things uh, will go bad for you you know so work to increase your source of income be diligent spend wisely when you have to do any capital intensive uh, project you know or when you want to spend a lot of money to buy anything think twice because the essence of the money that is coming to you is that you multiply it it's not for you to spend it it's for you to multiply, grow it, so that if you lose that business, you lose that job, you'll be able to leave. You know, work to get to a stage where you don't have to work to eat. Work, you know, now you are working, now you have a job. Work after five years, ten years, so that you don't have to work to eat. You don't have to wait for that salary to eat. You don't have to wait for that salary uh, to pay the hospital bills. You don't have to wait to work for that, you know, wait for that salary to be able to pay the mortgage or the rent. This is something that you do. And all of us can do it. So long as one CD comes to your hand, that is a seed that you can grow. So long as it costs for a lot of discipline, but it's something that you desire, you must desire to work towards. Freedom is nothing but finance. This world is economics. This world is about money. It's about power. Those who don't have it are at the mercy of those who have. That's why they can insult you at the workplace and you still have to show up. Because you need that money never trivialize it and no don't hope that one day one day things will change that's deception you know uh, they don't just lose this don't don't leave it to loto don't leave it to chance there's something that you have to work towards you have to plan you have to design it you have to stick with it it's like you're building a house you don't just leave it you you you, you get the architect to draw something for you the structure and they're coming to do something you will use calculation and you're able to build a nice house if you want to go a uh, hundred steps you need very technical eyes to design that the same thing your finances they are more complicated than you building even that structure if you lose God, you work all your life and you'll be in pain. But a lot of people say that you're frustrated because of what? Most people's problems in this life is, is directly or indirectly linked uh, to money. Never forget that. And the high rate of divorce is largely linked to financially related problems. You know, you want to, you, the, the, the woman is working here, you are working here because you need that work to survive. Uh, the school fees is a problem, you're always arguing. Most of my friends say that if you see any couple argue in the morning, it's likely it's about money. <laughs> it's likely related to money, you know. I think it's, it's likely to be true you know, because it's volatile. It's something is very sensitive, yet it controls a lot.
in this world. So the world will feed you with entertainment, will feed you with comedy, will feed you with politics. Sometimes you look at, you are watching something and you see things that politicians are talking about or religious people are talking about and everybody is watching that. But when the things that will give the people the power uh, over their own lives, like financial power, most people say that, you know, this one I don't want. And that's why they are the mercy of those who have. All of us have the power to create our own financial freedom, our own financial uh, independence. We have, you have, I have. You don't have to even be, you, you shouldn't, you don't have to even be born in a rich family, even though that is an advantage. Even if you're poor, you are born in a very poor family, you can still work with this. You can still design your plan. Don't design your plan to, don't design your finances to build a house. Don't design your finances to buy a nice car. Design your finances so that you get to a stage where you are free. That you can say that I don't have to keep this job, but I have to go to work because, you know, I want my life to be relevant. But not so much because I need this salary. And that calls for a plan. And that's co that calls for very intentional thinking or with the money that comes to you. Wherever that you place that money, whatever instrument that you learn to put that money in, will go on to show in the next 10 years, the next 20 years, whether you still have to show up to work. Some people will say that, you know, when I become a doctor, I become an engineer, I become a... No, it's not necessarily. Some people are paid thousands. Some people are paid a lot of money, but they still have to keep the job. Why? Because they spend everything that comes in. You know, you don't have to, you want to look rich, but when you, you know a very rich person, you see it in their investment. <laughs> a lot of the times it's not in their salary. You no, know? salary is not part of it. It's just one source of income, no matter how big it is. It's what you do with what comes and how many how many of the, those that you can really uh, build, you know, in addition that you can copy, you can replicate. How many of those would decide uh, whether you be independent or not? So study it as a subject. It's, it's every, it has everything to do with your life, your health, your peace, your joy, everything. The finances, the money. So you study it. You know, so I want to say thank you very much for taking your time to watch this uh, fight for your financial freedom. Fight for it. Thank you. Confident, courageous. Anyway, uh -huh. you have to sit down and, and ask questions and look for.